Oh, this is the No Face Movement, and it's November the 1st, 2018, and we're bringing you up-to-date news from CERN. Um, CERN has detected a new ghost particle manifest at the Large Hydrogen Collider. All right, folks, they're not sure if it's just wrong in data or it's a new uh, particle, but they're calling it the ghost particle, all right, if it is. Um... This also could mean we all know that CERN is trying to open up dimensions, all right, folks, or is trying to build, you know, a small universe, a black hole, trying to find dark matter. And a lot of scientists warn CERN not to do this because this might start a black hole. And maybe they already don't start a black hole and start messing up the way the Earth acts with all these extreme storms and extreme weather on top of harp. And on top of the central galactic plane alignment. Alright folks. So they believe that they might have found a ghost particle. That keeps on manifesting in their uh, tests. Alright by colliding particles at almost the speed of light. And they keep on seeing bumps. Alright or it might just be bad data folks. Alright so this is what the article says. I'm just going to do a real quick view. You guys can read the rest. And you guys could uh, tell me what you guys think. If you guys do find anything, just leave a comment underneath with the ad or not the ad, but the link. And I'll do some more deep research because we are going to do more research on CERN in the upcoming year in 2019. All right, folks, because we know CERN invented the World Wide Web. We know CERN. Do a lot of weird kind of ritual dance that's around uh, uh, Hinduism belief. All right, we've done videos on this. And how a lot of people are afraid, a lot of scientists and physicists are scared of CERN that they might actually did, uh, cause a black hole and it might suck the earth in. Or they might cause enough different kind of energy that will cause chaos around the world. And that's what's happening right now. With all these crazy storms, all right? This might be one of their theories, all right, folks? That there's already energy to escape dark matter that's causing our world to be messed up. And this possibly could be true. But the truth is, a lot of our storms are created from the central galactic plane alignment that happened on 2012, all right? Um, all those movies that talk about the end of days, like everything's going to happen on December 21st, 2012, all right? It's not all going to happen all one time. All right, not all one day. That the world's going to come ultimately to an all one day. But we are in that stage, all right? And this stage lasts till the year 2025 because we did alignment on December 21st, 2012. And up to the alignment, we were getting bad earthquakes and it's getting worse, worse, worse. And all the way up till we leave this alignment in 2025. All right, folks. From I put warnings up from 2016 to 2025, we are going to see weather to get more, more, more extreme because of the alignment of the central galactic plane. But they also found new protons, new energy, and dark matters at CERN to actually escape from their resources. It could cause more chaotic in the world on top of harp and chemtrails and weather modification. But yes, they might have found new ghost particle this might be another dimension that they found all right so scientists at sir nuclear physics lab near Geneva are investigating whether a bizarre and unexpected new particle popped into existence during experience during experiments at the Large Hydrogen Collider, researchers on the machine multipurpose, the CMS detector, have spotted curious bumps in their data. They may, may be the calling card of an unknown particle that has more than twice the mass of carbon atom. The prospect of such a mysterious particle has baffled uh, physicists as much as it has excited them. At the moment, none of their favorite theories of reality include the particle, though many theorists are now hard at work on models that do. I say theorists are excited and experimentals are very skeptical, said Alexander Niktanko, a theorist on the CMS team who worked on the data. As a physicist, I must be very critical, but as an author of this analyst, I might, must have some optimism too. 
Senior scientists at the lab have scheduled a talk this Thursday at which Joe and his colleague Yotam Sorek will discuss the work. They will describe how they spotted the bumps in CMS data while searching for evidence of lighter cousin of the Higgs boson, or also we all know it's the God particle, the elusive particle that was discovered at the LHC in 2012. And like I said, it ain't kind of weird, though. They found the God particle in 2012, and our Earth aligned with our solar system in the central galactic plane on December 21st, 2012. And we last in the central galactic plane to the year 2025. And as we were moving along from 2020, 2012 to 2016, storms increased. But well, as we're in this medium now, until we exit in the year 2025, storms are going to get more severe. And if they have stuff that got let loose from the LHC at CERN, it might cause even more uh, crazy weather, crazy behavior of people, and all this, folks. All right. The Large Hydron Collider creates particles by smashing subatomic protons into one another at close to the speed of light. When the protons meet, the energy in the collision is converted into a mass. And so particles in line with Einstein equation equal E equals MC2. Many particles created in the LHC are highly unstable and immediately decay into lighter, more stable particles such as photons and electrons. It is by looking for uh, an X size of these particles apparent as bumps in the data. The, the physicists tend to find new particles. For example, one way the Higgs boson betrayed its existence was through an unusual high number of photons recorded in the collision in which the particle was made. But particle physics is not easy pursuit. The endless frustration of its practitioners, bumps and data produced by nothing more than statics function pops up all the time. The best way to discourage uh, discuss between these and Nobel Prize's winning discoveries is to analyze more and more data. Statistically, flux always vanished with time. In two separate analysts, the CMS team found data that pointed to a buildup of muons or heavy electrons in their detector. If real, the data indicates a new particle with a mass of 28 GeV or 1 billion electron volts, slightly less than a quarter of the mass of the Higgs boson. Whatever it is, it is not the particle Nitneko and his colleagues were looking for. To complicate matters further, the bumps were more pronounced in the LHC low energy collision than in the more energetic collision the machine performed after an upgrade. That could be explained, said Nintenko. If more background particles are produced at higher energy, that then obscured the signal. Because the analyst is so, so time-consuming, uh, time it could take the CMS team another year to confirm or rule out the existence of a new particle. All right, folks. And it just keeps on going on about the Higgs particle and this new ghost particle that manifests in these collisions, folks. But whatever it is, they probably did find something else, most likely. And we all know that CERN is doing other stuff. It's trying to get in dimensions. And maybe this is the particle, and it's weird why it's called the ghost particle, but maybe this is the link into another dimension. And I'm a strong believer, I can prove it, and I'm going to make videos about other dimensions and spirits and what happens after, like, yes, I believe in the Heavenly Father and Son and, and after death and all that stuff. So we're going to do a lot of research and bring you guys the truth. Um... I also want you guys to sign up on Patreon because starting uh, next week on Sunday or Monday, not this Sunday or Monday coming up, but the following Sunday and Monday, we're going to start producing, making videos on Patreon um, video site. All right, folks. And all you got to do, and I know it sucks, but it's a donation of a dollar, but you're going to see a lot more videos um, that YouTube and Facebook has banned. All right, this is another 
platform, but the donations actually goes to the Patreon and the Patreon video makers, all right? And it's not like YouTube, all right? You, you own all your rights. You own all your videos, folks, and you can speak of whatever, all right? So go check that out. Um, please also subscribe. Stay tuned. This is the No Face Movement. Moving, moving to next time facing off. And if you guys have any questions, if you guys got answers, if you guys want me to look into something, make videos and do research, or if you guys know a little bit more than me about CERN, all right, other than the World Wide Web that they found and the spirits that they opening up dimensions, and we know they're opening up dimensions, maybe it's a time portal, who knows? But please share it with us and I do research. This is the No Face Movement, moving, moving until next time, facing off.